Hey guys, welcome to A Story About My Uncle, Part 1. This is a game that was on Humble, Humble Bundle a little bit ago for free, and I just decided to pick it up, and I played a little bit of to see how, how the controls were, and it was actually pretty good. So what it is, it's just a, a platformer. Uh, it goes through a story mode, though, so it's not just a 2D platformer. It is a 3D platformer, so I'm going to start a new game. And let's go. Dad? Aren't you sleeping yet? It's time for bed, honey. Dad, I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? All right. What do you want to hear? Something... something about an adventure. Hmm. I think I know just the thing. When I was your age, my biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures around the world. One day, he disappeared. So the beginning here is a tutorial room. It's just a house here, so... Let's <clears throat> look around and move I on through. I stepped into the lobby of my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see. See if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. I feel like there's a lot of little details, so just... Letters, post-it notes. In the, in the tutorial, everything my is uncle in the blue. My uncle used postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. Yeah, everything in the blue is what you interact with in here. I had visited Uncle Fred's house countless of times, but in the locker, which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. I'm not actually sure when this game was released, but it it is a the nice controls. I like the detail. The indie games have the been observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. Uncle Fred had warned me not to touch any of his things. But, as I said, I was a curious child. All right. Here we go. I landed with a crash, but thanks to the suit I wasn't hurt. I had no idea where the pad had taken me, but back then, I didn't care so much about where I was going, or how I would get home. So now we are in the platformer area. As you can see that we've got platforms, we bridges right now, but up ahead we see this is where the level really starts, and I believe that it is just one long level. The suit but there's different areas. Falls on the ground, but not in water. I couldn't swim with this thing on. 
best be careful. And I'm just continuing on. Charge a suit and jump. Just getting the I basic. was sure that someone had been here before me. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols, but who? Where were they now? Now we're just getting the basic controls here. The controls are pretty pretty good here. And these things are your save points, so if I'm up here and I fall off, I'll return to the last one of those I, I crossed. Death number one. See, i just return back to the one I was on. It is a very nice looking game. Not just a simple jump from point A to point B, and I missed. But it's, there's just a little bit more involved. There's a story. We've got things to collect. Maybe I'll be patient this time and get all the way over. Almost fell off again. Here we go. I'd rather not mess this up again. All right. What's this? The power core device activated the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here by my uncle. You can see where you can grapple, it becomes highlighted a little bit. You can see that way over there. The grappling device left a sort of symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave, and I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. Here we go. It's just really easy to fly around. Glad I didn't mess that up. So sometimes I do get kind of lost in where we what way we do need to go. It's not always just forward, it's sometimes up. The adventure suit was fantastic. By combining a power leap with a grapple, I could fly Oops. long distances through the air at great speed. That's a good save. It does take a little bit of getting used to here. But once you get it, it's, it's pretty easy. Oh, come on up the thing. There we go. When grappling a moving object, it, well, didn't get that off. But I guess this is my object, and I just hold it. And there I go. Uh-oh. Overshot. There we go. That's better.
Yeah, okay. Now we got this one that's circling, and let's grab it. Come on, oh, man, is that death three? Death three. I'm guessing that was death, death three. Here we go, I think I got this, I think I, yes. Awesome. See, the, the items, the, platforms get a little bit harder every farther we go along here it's kind of nice it's not just one thing it's it's not just it's not just jumping it's it's more than that oops yep I fell off there I think I gotta get that thing I'm not even sure this is right. I think it's right. What other way do I go? I'm going to attempt this thing over here. Actually, I think that's pretty close. So if I keep holding on... I think this is my end goal. But I think I got it. Oh. There we go. Okay, so you can see in my hand now, I have got two two dots, two little, you know, well, we'll call it the third of the circle, so I can grapple two times in a row on a single jump, before it was only one. Oh, there you go. And here's where we're going to start this off. The challenge in here is really good. Some of these are very difficult to do. I don't need to do anything there. Here we go. There's one. Two. Here's our bus stop. Yeah, I think I overshot it, but it'll do. I think that's my end end stop right there. Some of these, it's just kind of a guess, and if you guess wrong, you. You have to start over again. This looks like an arrow. Oh, sure enough. Did you ever see any of Fred's experiments yourself? Yes. I actually helped him collect samples for his research sometimes. To learn about them? That's right. We found all sorts of things. One time, we went to the forest and found a small pool of water that was full of eggs. Eggs? Were there chickens in the forest? No, not chicken eggs. These were small and jelly-like. Hundreds of them. Fred told me that they were frog eggs. He was in for a surprise, though. Guess what happened? What? What happened? Well, we took some eggs back home. One day, 
Fred woke up with bites all over his body. Turns out, it wasn't frog eggs after all. It was mosquito eggs. Ah, oh, poor Fred. I know. He did find real frog eggs eventually. He told me that they were very, very special. But I don't know what happened to them. So, I do like the little story antidotes in here. So, I'm thinking we're coming up here to a good uh, stopping point. Hmm, these blue lights. Did Fred put them here? Or was somebody else here as well? Awesome. So this is going to be our next area that we will do in our next episode. Thank you guys for uh, joining me here. If you want to comment and subscribe, that would be just fantastic to uh, comment about what other games you think we should do. So thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.